Greetings, Crapture here and this is Raid Shadow Legends free to play challenge for 2024. Challenge is powered by Halhydis crew. I'm member of Team Scratch and let's um, talk today about fusion for our months. Um, yeah, crazy. Uh, so free to play day uh, 20, not 20, 57. Uh, so we are close to two months uh, in the game. So I think today uh, we'll close um, the points uh, for, for the month results in each dungeons in terms of Dragon, Spider, Fire Knight, Ice Golem, uh, Phantom Shogun, Sun Devil and Iron Twins. And in three of them at current state I think I'm first. Uh, in the rest I'm top 10 in terms of content creators so I think I will get a few more points for the team mm, to rank up even higher um, but that that's the from the stats point of view and points so the, for the challenge uh, but uh, what I want to uh, talk about is um, the fusion so in terms of fusion so the most important thing is uh, generally if you have resources so from what I see when I calculated and what's coming, I think I'm able to do it. And let me uh, just walk uh, through my thinking process and how, how I'm planning to do this. So um, so maybe let's take a look for to the points for the summon rush because that's the uh, big uh, pain point I would say uh, for all those uh fusions so yeah depends if you have uh, shards so if not then it will be hard uh, to do it um so here i got 3150 um f to get uh, the fragments that are required for the fusion and generally you cannot skip it that there is at the end of the um, fusion some additional uh, hero path event but it, it's yeah, it's, it's an option, but I would like to complete this in a normal way to show maybe how I'm doing this on the free-to-play approach. Yeah, so let's take a look to the points. So, uh, Sacred Shard uh, 500, prim Primal uh, 200 and Void 120. So I'm not looking to the Ancient because that's not the um, event that you want to pull uh, your Ancients and mystery shards one point okay so far i got 140 uh, here but uh, th this is just from um, mystery shards those greens um, and, and that's a good source of the points so let's quickly take a look so i got 300 more yeah so this is almost 500 let's say um, so what it's my plan uh, so my pl in my plan, I'm considering only pulling sacred shards and primal uh, for this uh, summon rush because they got the most points. And from what I see, I should have enough to uh, be very close uh, to get uh, those numbers. So here we got 1,000 um, more for, from sacreds. One sacred is coming from the uh, monthly which should be uh, available in three days so at the end of this uh, summon mm, rush event yeah so that so it means it will be 1500 uh, plus let's say mystery plus what I already have so it will be 2000 so three primals uh, it is 600 uh, let's add to this not this one in the shop we got this um, five anniversary uh, gifts so here on day four so also uh, the the time when the event will be still alive uh, so additional 200 points so this is uh, 800 in terms of primal and um, what is the source of the primal so if you click this i icon so it's also showing uh, hydra clash and uh, life arena so in life arena uh, i was doing some fights and i'm very close to get uh, one more chest 
So I got 29 wins from uh, 35 and here as a reward uh, you are getting uh, those fragments for the primal shards so 80 or maybe 110 uh, so that's good uh, and looking to my current situation I've got already 90 so it means I will have at least one if I manage to in next few days uh, to win those fights uh, so this is a additional 200 points right so let's assume that it will be only one or maybe two so it will <laughs> we'll see so we'll have five uh, primal shards so this is 1000 point so uh, 1000 here uh, 1500 here uh, for from the sacred so this is 200 uh, uh, 2000, uh, 2500, let's say like that, plus uh, Mr. Shards, uh, let's, say, let's say 500, so it will be 3000. So if I can, I can pull one or two more Void Shards and just complete or just finish with Mr. Shards. But I think it will be doable from Mr. Shards uh, because I will be running a lot of dungeon, uh, uh, not dungeons, uh, dungeons also, but uh, this is from campaign. So we'll be running a uh, campaign a lot uh, to do uh, the champion training. Uh, why? Uh, that's that's my idea because you want to have also some resources for the champion chase, which will start in a week or so, according to the uh, fusion calendar. And for that, uh, what I'm expecting there will be uh, two X on void shards. So getting at least one or two uh, Void Epic uh, from Void Shards, it will be additional 350 points, which is a lot. Uh, yeah, so plus ancient, all Ancient Shards, so, so I should be um, in a good uh, position to just complete uh, the Champion Chase in a week. So, yeah, so that's the plan. Also, a few more Shards probably will come. Uh, I see one additional here in the missions, so for the Arbiter missions, so I will be waiting for Sunday to get uh, to farm Void a little bit and ascend uh, the later jump to um, Void jump to 6th level of Ascension. Yeah, so that's, that, that's what's coming. Do we have more? No, no more shards, but a lot of gems, so I'm getting pretty close to get Arbiter. Yeah, so it will be it will be very, very close. So in terms of Arbiter, yeah, so summoning Arbiter during the champion chase, that's also an option, I would say. But uh, for that, I need to mm, win 200 classic uh, arena battles after completing on Sunday quickly uh, Void um, missions here and then yeah we should be uh, pretty straightforward to, to the end and get our beater yeah, so th that's the plan here so that's an option what else uh, is coming um, yeah so what's the current status right so I see that Dungeon Divers is coming in 12 hours or 13. Yeah, so I'm not um, using all my energy that is currently saved and uh, below or all the, behind all those red dots that you probably see. So here in the tournaments, events, uh, in battle, even here in Arena, after reaching uh, milestone rewards uh, on the f f five stage uh, so I, here i got four um, energy potions so that this is like 500 energy here uh, also got uh, some energy saved uh, from the previous days uh, as i mentioned so i was not um, using that so this is waiting let's, let's say this is about 1000 or more energy so that's fine. Also some energy here in the weekly, like uh, 250, I would say. And I've got a good bank of uh, gems uh, to, to get energy. 
right? So generally what I'm doing now is uh, I'm waiting for the dungeon divers to start uh, Dragon Tournament. So Dragon Tournament is just barely touched, I would say. Just three runs to, to complete today uh, advanced missions. I got 58 points, so nothing amazing. So I'm not touching the, uh, the Dragon today. And what else? Yeah, champion training. So here I'm using my daily energy uh, to do some champion training, uh, some Bruce action in, in tavern, ascending so, uh, some guys uh, <laughs> there. So yeah, so I'm would say like halfway, but my plan will be probably to go to for for this Lego book. Um, yeah, because this is very uh, valuable and will give my legendary champions a little bit boost yeah um so now what's the plan for today is just uh, proceed with the artifact enhancement because that's also what you need to do so yeah need to uh, get some points to get uh, champion fragments uh, yeah and we will be getting some energy here some uh, gems to get even more energy so that's good so that will be the plan. Yeah, and I think that will be uh, that will be the plan. So that's crazy because uh, <laughs> it's a free to play, not even two months in the game, and I'm trying to complete uh, second fusion in a row. Uh, yeah, I am. Um, that's crazy. But uh, yeah, okay, so today I will have a uh, few shards to open, yeah, so I forgot about this. So uh, what is uh, safe to pull today? I think uh, Primal Shards, uh, that's what I can pull today. Uh, Sacreds, I, I will leave uh, and wait uh, till Sunday, because on side, Sunday we will have like to uh, get one uh, legendary and get uh, extra set bonus. So currently this is ongoing for the ancient shards, but I'm not pulling them today. Uh, and this was the same according to the calendar will happen on Sunday. So if I will get uh, legendary that I cannot even use, uh, so if I'm getting one, so why should I take two, right? <laughs> so trying to be efficient as a free to play. So if there is such a possibility, just use it. Yeah, so here waiting with the uh, secrets. So probably at the time we'll have three. So this will be on the, another episode. And today I will pull those three uh, primal. I'm not expecting a lot. So let's uh, take a look. So for sure Duchess, that's no, no brainer, I, I think. Uh, here and I, I think I will take Ugo. I will go because uh, block debuffs, so I don't have champs, a champion like that. And with the additional revive and decrease de defense, as I remember. So this will be huge for my Hydra team. So I think we'll, I will start with that. Yeah, so let's go. Let's see uh, if I'm lucky and can I can I get. Go. See, okay, first rare, so that's a foot, that's for sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm. What can I say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Damn. Uh, so, generally, I completed the fusion already. <laughs> uh, but I cannot use him. I pulled him from the shard. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Uh, please tell me what to do <laughs> in the comments. Oh my. What's going on? Oh, that's. That's interesting. Okay, but I think anyway, um, I need having two, two of those. Uh, I probably need to think about this, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going for this fusion because probably it will be, 
yeah, somehow detected that I'm using <laughs> champion that I <laughs> pulled from the shard. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm, we are going for the fusion. No way. <laughs> so we'll at least have two. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? OMG. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, for sure I cannot use him. But at the end of the... When the challenge will end, probably I will make use of some of those, <laughs> those champs. Okay, so let's quickly take a look. So, I'm first time I see those, his, this guy. Uh, he's from Undead. Okay, so... A1 has AoE with um, decreased speed. Okay. Good for Hydra, I think. Another A1, uh, uh, sorry, uh, AoE attack for A2, uh, weaken and decrease decrease defense. Okay, so this is, uh, I would say, Hydra Champ. Yeah, looks like. Um, another AoE mm, block. This is remove uh, debuffs from all enemies. Okay, so he's cleansing and putting heal reduction cannot be resisted. Okay, so you don't need accuracy for that. Interesting. Attack in all battles. Okay, I will need to review this guy. What is going on? I'm speechless. Oh, okay, <laughs> I will need to uh, calm down and do some artifact enhancement. <laughs> Please let me know what the, in the comments what do you think about this. Yeah, that, that, that's all for, for now. Yeah, please consider consider hitting the like, subscribe and all the buttons you can. Just, yeah, that's all for today. Thanks, cheers.